Hi, Homestead team. I'm Chaplain Robert Terrell, and this is your August 1st, 2022 Monday Motivator. A few years ago, my wife and I went to a play called The Play That Goes Wrong. As you can probably guess from the title, everything goes wrong. It, it starts off with uh, actors messing up their lines, then eventually one of the actors ends up getting hit in the head, and a stagehand has to jump in, and the stagehand doesn't know the lines at all, and it gets worse and worse and worse, till at the end of the play, the set is literally collapsing around them. It's completely hilarious, but it's also very true. Every now and then, we just have those days where everything goes wrong. You may have had one of those days recently. I had one yesterday. As many of you know, I pastor a church, and yesterday, everything that could go wrong went wrong. Try as I might to fix it, things just did not get better. I would tell you, you could watch the video and enjoy uh, seeing everything go wrong, except for the video messed up too, so you can't even do that. It, it really upset me because, like you, I care about doing a good job. I know as care pros, one, what you do really matters, but two, you also want to do the very best job you can. And every now and then, we just have days where mistakes happen. So how do you handle those? Well, here are five things that I like to do that help me. The first is to admit my mistake. I know there's some people that would tell you that you should never admit a mistake because it makes you look weak, but I, I just think they're wrong. My faith teaches me the exact opposite. It teaches me that when we own up to our mistakes and we repent of those mistakes and apologize and ask forgiveness when necessary, uh, it's actually a sign of being comfortable in who we are and the love that God has for us rather than a sign of weakness. It's a sign of strength. So I would encourage you to admit those mistakes, and the sooner you can, the better. Own up when you make that mistake. The second thing I would encourage you to do is to get some perspective. Quite often, I think a mistake is actually worse than what it is. And when I step back and maybe involve others in looking at it, it turns out it was nowhere near as bad as I thought it was. I need that perspective so that I don't beat myself up, so that I don't make something a bigger deal than it, than it should be. The third thing I like to do is to make a plan, i.e., I want to correct what happened in the past if it's in my control. Many times, something's in our control, and if we think about it beforehand, we can make it to where we don't do that again. That way, our past is improving our future. Sometimes we can't control those things, but we can know that we can't control those things, and we won't beat ourselves up as much over them then. So I get some perspective. I step back. The fourth thing is, is every now and then, I realize I just need to take a break. Instead of beating my head against the wall and trying to, to force this thing to happen, I need to take a step back and just wait for a little while, and then come back to this. I can't do that with a church service, but what I can do is this week, focus on resting a little bit uh, when I'm not working with you guys, uh, so that next week I'll be refreshed for that. And then the fifth thing I like to do is I like to be kind to myself. For me, this comes down to remembering where my value comes from. My faith teaches me that my value ultimately comes from the fact that I am loved by God and I am made in His image. You have to figure out for yourself where your value comes from. And I believe one of the ways we deal with mistakes is by being kind to ourselves and realizing where our value truly comes from. It doesn't come from us being perfect. It comes from other things that are more important. Those are five things that help me to deal with mistakes. What helps you deal with mistakes? I would love to hear about that. Also, as many of you know, I'll be leading a service trip to Honduras in February. A lot of people have been asking for information, um, but the signups are not full yet. So we have more people asking for information than we have spaces. So please, if you're interested, message me. My contact information is always at the end of these videos. And I will send you the information and you can sign up. It's a first come, first serve basis, and there's a really good chance we'll fill up. So I would encourage you to sign up as soon as possible. But if you remember nothing else from this video, here's what I hope you remember. Our CEO, God cares for you, even when you make mistakes. And so do I. Have a great week, okay? Hello, Home and Stead team. I'm Chaplain Robert Terrell, and this is your August 1st, 21st, August 1st, August 1st. <laughs> Let's try this again. <laughs> the second thing to do is to <clears throat> make a plan to um, oh, my throat <coughs> is I like to, gosh, why is the fourth one so difficult for me to remember? Oh, take a break, take a break, take a break. Let's.